Hello and welcome to Whistling Diesel Headquarters. This is Monster Max 2, the world's largest fully functioning pickup truck, and this is the final progress update. You remember Doug. What? You're on kind of a hill here. Yeah. I'm pulling the uh, U-joint caps out of this because we need them for Monster Max. Everyone's back ordered, so this U-joint actually fits Monster Max perfectly. Yeah. Uh. You forgot to block it! Block. Get blocked! Get blocked! Block. Today, we're talking about our brakes, suspension, rear steer, and two engines that actually finally work together. That's right, powered and driven by two diesel engines. 1,600 horsepower, 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. She's a little quick. Previously, the brakes were gripping it all the time. It always had the brakes on, so it looked underpowered, but it's also only driven by one engine. Unfortunately, haters, I have really bad news. It's freaking quick. She actually goes like 60 miles an hour. Our expert j has just pulled in, actually. He's got the device in his hands. He spent months developing this believe it or not this is the first one ever created on planet earth i haven't even met him yet hey bro yeah, man. run us down on what you got here we're tying both transmissions together using one tcm and we're basically mirroring the signal from the first tcm off the other transmission we're in drive they're lighting up it's good they're doing what they're supposed to no codes no codes he just shifted it with two transmissions running yeah so it worked yeah, they both yeah. worked. They both moved. Yes, baby. So all we gotta do is figure out throttle, and we're good. It's funny how that that little ball of wires—it's like Iron Man's heart. <sighs> is that so hard? No way. Woo! Woo! <laughs> drives like a real truck. Like I was quarter throttle at, at most the whole time. No power issues whatsoever. It has plenty of power. I wasn't expecting it to be like functional tonight as soon as these guys showed up. Oh, right? Level yet? Keep going. Level? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let down. A sway bar keeps your vehicle level. When one side comes up and the truck wants to roll, the bar twists and it keeps the truck level. The problem is that the sway bar is only this big around. Here is our brand new pinion air actuated semi brake system. It stops the truck on a dime, made for a semi that's hundreds of thousands of pounds fully loaded, but our truck is only 40,000 pounds. So it stops it immediately. It actually locks up all four tires. I think they are the largest brakes that you can buy. The pads are like 16 inches long, massive. Like the whole setup weighs 300 pounds. All right, so to fire this up, basically you... our parking brake just like a semi you pop that when you park drives like a normal truck we're gonna get 
shocked. We're in the middle. More than 700,000 people are without power. That was scary going downhill because you just rely on the brake so much. Mm -hmm. So much because there's no stopping it. There's so much weight. You don't need to put it in drive when you go downhill. Like nothing slows you down at all. With two engines running this entire time, even climbing halfway up that hill, I never got to coolant fan temperature. I never need to flip on the fans. That last time I was three quarter throttle. I have yet to punch it. I, I was not <laughs> to the floor. I had the, floor the Hilux to the floor keeping up. Wait, really? Oh yeah. Wait, I was going up that hill how it looked like it was struggling the torque converters are just slipping i think lower rpms is just spinning the converter these might have like a high stall torque converter that's what i wonder oh, baby. could be a driveline angle is a driveline angle is it hitting on the brake maybe yeah, it's totally bound up right there, boss. You think it's hitting that? No. It's just too steep of a driveway. Do you think that is? That was fun. the second half it felt like you were going pretty good but it had that much pull like in the higher end yeah. so imagine what it would do from a stop look at my tracks going down there oh my god dude they're slipping when i'm like three-quarter throttle and it starts to still lose power even though i'm building boost it's like we're carrying another pickup truck on our back right now it's insanely heavy the upper half the missiles need to go. Drop the missile! If this was any other build, this would be flipped over. My tire is in the missile, this won't work. I don't like it's this. It's too top heavy. <laughs> you wanna know why we're not flipping right now? Because the missiles are against the tire and it's leaning <laughs> on the missile. I'm scared, dude. Not the good. missiles are just against the tire, dude. Oh, they're cutting my tire, no! Oh no, they're bending the fins. Ah! <laughs> No! Ah! Oh, dude! Oh, that's terrible. The rear's losing cooling. Yeah, it's pretty warm. No! What happened? That just now happened. 
But the, the gauge has been saying 250 for like an hour. I think we need a Monster Max 2 owner that turns the fans on. Dude, I thought we could run without him. It would help if our fan relay didn't blow every 30 seconds. We'll get someone to Because I would have had that. the fans on. This fin, I looked back, we were going forward and it tipped left, and that fin was like going straight into the tire. <gasps> so I don't know how it didn't just pop it right there. There's a deep like groove right through them all. My beloved missiles. I was wanting to get to the top of the hill, but I don't think that's a good idea to try right now. Not in the current situation. This is so sorry looking. Everyone's like, yes, Monster Max 2. <laughs> it's gonna be like Gangsta's Paradise, the Elon Musk version. He builds these rockets that he wants to land again and everyone's making fun of him. And then finally, one day, he had a successful landing. <clears throat> You know, at the beginning of this video, there were so many people saying it wouldn't work. But now, there's even more people saying it won't work. But it doesn't so, work. So, I know, that's, but but it's not done yet, Tyler. It looks worse than when we started. It has suspension now for all the people mad. They were like, oh, it's it's always on metal bars. It's never going to properly suspense itself. It has suspension. I didn't say it was properly working. The dry shaft is like, I was meant to go this way. Why am I going this way? <laughs> the lower half of the truck is great. Nothing has gone wrong with that. I'm I want to focus on one thing at a time and that was the lower half of the truck cody this video was about the engines and suspension yeah it was wasn't it <laughs> that's right that's plumbed into the stock pedal no, that's terrible. I love that bike. Dude, I did not even see it there. No! Dang it! No! Why are you smiling? Shoot! You seem- Crap, dude. You're really sending mixed no. signals right now. Oh, I love this bike. It actually was a really good bike when no one would buy it, so I just ran over it. I posted it for 5K less than what it was worth, and not one single person replied. I understand there are some flaws in our suspension. I, I understand it's not perfect. There's, there's some... I, it's like falling over, like the, it fell over like a tree. There's a lot of stuff we thought would be big enough, and it's not, though. Like the tires, we thought the tires would be big enough, and the axles, but they're really not. Honestly, let's just start on Monster Max 3. <laughs> it's like, we don't even finish this one. It's like The Walking Dead, like they don't stop coming, but they haven't even like done a proper episode. <laughs> it's like, Monster Max 4 is coming out soon. Dude, you haven't finished the second one. <laughs> Monster Max 12, guys, coming out next month. What have we learned here? That having all the weight in the top half of the truck, <laughs> it doesn't help that the engines are literally like 10 feet off the ground, but there is a way to fix that. And that's if the sway bar was this big around. I did everything I could to conserve weight on this project. Precautions were taken all along the way to make sure that we were not overweight. I scrapped on every non-important item. If it weighed a lot, we took it off. Ow! It would appear as if we have brought all the mud into the shop and it's literally just clean. I don't want to have to scrape all the mud off when it falls off the tires. I'm gonna clean the mud out. From inside the truck? We appear to have lost some critical driveline components. What did we break? Hey, whatever it is, it won't happen again. So, because it's broken. Look, the tire treads are clean. Well, nice job. Oh my God, it spit that thing out. Oh, what did you do? What broke? 
Maybe we were missing bolts to begin with. I bet they vibrated loose after all day. You were paranoid about those vibrators. I told you, I bet they did because they only have lock washers. If you know how I can get all of a sway bar that's this big around, let me know. It can't do this, okay? It needs, it needs to stay level because it can twist a little bit. But the point is to let the truck not sway. So we need something really stiff. Monster Max 2, preliminary testing number two. And the next time you see this truck, it will be 100% done on a weight loss program for sure. All right, that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Uh, we'll get somebody to clean this up. Hey, Tyler, do you mind sweeping this up? I'm going to take off. I got to go. Tonight? Yes. I'll be back in the morning.